Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Darth Stalker ROM for your AT&T and T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S4. So guys, uh, sadly I can't do any video editing right now. My laptop just broke, so I have to take it in. So uh, the next couple of videos probably won't be edited, so sorry about that guys. Uh, fucking Sony. But uh, let's get started. So this ROM is called the Darth Stalker ROM, as I said. It is mainly supported for the T-Mobile Galaxy S4. And uh, you could actually flash it on the AT&T Galaxy S4. I'll be showing you how to do that at the end of the video if you have an AT&T Galaxy S4. So stick around for that as I'll show you how to install the ROM if you're on AT&T. So if we go right here about phone and zoom in a little right here, you can tell that it is version Android 4.2.2 and Darth Stalker version uh, 2. So you do get the latest version of T-Mobile base so don't worry guys if you're on at and that will not um, strongly affect you so you shouldn't have any problems there. The only thing you have to do on at and is you have to add APN. If you don't know what that is let me show you very quickly guys. So we're gonna go into mobile networks right here access point names and you're gonna click right here new APN you're gonna name the title ATT or whatever you want and APN you're gonna name PTA click OK now click back there it is right there and you're just gonna click on that and light it up and that's it that's all you have to do you'll get data now okay so this ROM is packed with a bunch of features to choose from so it does come with the Phantom kernel in the beginning. So if you're on T-Mobile, you get the Phantom kernel. If you're on AT&T, you'll have to flash a different kernel. So sadly, you won't have that kernel in stock. Uh, this does come rooted, so you do get Super SU right off the bat. So you can still use all your uh, rooted goodness that you're used to. Uh, it is zipline, deodexed, uh, BusyBox is installed. Um, so you do get Wi-Fi calling if you have a T-Mobile variant or T-Mobile SIM card inside of your AT&T S4. Uh, it has init.d support. It is carrier IQ free, so that means uh, AT&T or T-Mobile can't track your device, what you're doing on it. Uh, you can MMS over Wi-Fi. And all the features work here, so uh, if we go into camera, camera works perfectly fine, whether you're on AT&T or T-Mobile. You can see, working perfectly fine you get all your usual options and actually in the camera now if you get a call you can still take pictures during a call which is a really really cool feature again if you're on AT&T and uh, MMS will still work perfectly fine SMS and so will uh, phone and everything like that shouldn't have any problems there so it will come with two wallpapers installed when you first install this ROM and it'll be kind of themed like Darth Vader. Sadly, obviously right now I changed the wallpapers and you can't change them back unless you reinstall the ROM or find the wallpapers yourself. So you do get four-way reboot. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna hold the power button and your usual power menu right here. If we click restart, we get four options now to go to reboot, hot boot, download, and recovery. Also, as you can tell, there is a custom font installed, so let me kind of zoom in just to show you guys right here. The font does look different, and of course, you can still go into settings and change the font under uh, display, I think. Yeah, you could change the font right here, but as you can tell, the font does look different. Some uh, other cool apps that you do get, you do get a uh, flash player, so if I find it right now. There it is, Flash Player. And you do get Google Hangouts. So if you're on AT&T, you do get that, which is really, really cool. Also, it does have a music louder mod. So basically, when you're playing music, it will sound a lot better. Or maybe not better quality, but definitely louder. I've noticed that when you scroll through this ROM, it's a lot faster than the stock TouchWiz on your Galaxy S4. And it really gives you that premier touch with 
feeling that you should have on your Galaxy S4. I mean, this is a high-end device, and the OS definitely should not be slowing it down, because that's just total crap. So no issues right now. Uh, there are none so far, so it's a very, very stable ROM. Uh, as I said, this is version 2, so there will be future updates coming up soon, hopefully. And, yeah, so guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And actually, now I'm going to be showing you how to flash it. So, let's just hold the power button. And we're going to click restart. And we're going to reboot into recovery. Okay? So, if you're on T-Mobile, I mean, I'll have a link down below for the ROM to install. It has uh, the description on how to install it for T-Mobile. So, you can install it. If you're on AT&T, ignore that. I mean, it's going to do it, but it's not going to affect your phone at all. So as I said, if you're on T-Mobile, just look down below in the link, and there will be a description on how to install this ROM. So if you're on AT&T, you're going to download the link from the T-Mobile ROM. So you're going to download that, and then I'm going to have a link for the K2Nits kernel, which you'll have to install separately. Okay, so this is basically what you're going to do. After you've done all your wipes, so you're going to wipe data factory reset, you're going to wipe cache, and then you're going to go into advanced. Does not matter what um, recovery you're using. So then you could go down and wipe down the cache also. After you've done those three things, you want to go to install zip from SD card. Navigate to wherever you put the ROM. So I have it on my external SD card actually. And make sure to install the Darth Stalker ROM. So you're just going to install it normally, just as on T-Mobile. But after that, you should have installed a kernel, which I left down below. So you're going to navigate to that kernel now, which if you installed it straight to your phone, should be in your SD card download folder. And you're just going to go down, touch with JB, make sure to install the touch with version, and you're going to install that, okay? Once you've done that, you're just going to reboot, and that's about it. So basically, after you reboot it, it should work perfectly fine because you just flashed the low-keyed kernel. You don't have to worry about anything else, just add your APN and you're good to go. So as I said guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, hit like and thanks for watching.